Welcome to our prefabrication facility. We've got 52,000 square feet under roof here where we've got 40 people working today on assembly lines, putting finished product out the door to go out to a job site here in the Washington DC metro region. So we run a complete calendar out of here and we also track production. In the shop, everything's on monitor, everything's on laptops and tablets. The work orders that are out on the shop floor are all listed here who uploaded it, when it was loaded, what the time is gonna to take to go through each station. Then the production in the facility is all logged here, all in real time. Here's a calendar, which also goes with our shipping. So whether it's being drawn, whether it's in fabrication, whether it's ready to ship, and then when it's shipped to a job site is all captured on this calendar so you can get a big picture. And up here we have our solar edge monitoring of our solar farm on the roof. December 2018, we went live with our solar farm, and in 2019, about 97% of the power used in this shop was generated on the roof. So training takes many forms, and in this room, we train people on the softwares and on the systems that we use. By doing the design and the coordination here, the efficiencies gained on the shop floor are tremendous. A single man working on a bench can produce what two men will do in a week out in the field. So this is our VDC department, Virtual Design and Construction. Here we have 20 different skilled individuals putting together our coordinated drawings, putting together the BIM model, putting together our spool drawings, and finishing all our coordination. Now we're gonna go live, we're gonna step out onto the fab shop floor. Everybody's got their vests on, they've got glasses on and hard-toed shoes, so let's step out here. So here we are out on the factory floor. This is where reality happens. On this side, we have mostly our plumbing side, but also HVAC piping. Everything over here is copper, PVC, or cast iron. On the other side of the shop is our steel line, where we prefabricate assemblies with steel pipe from two inches in diameter up to 36 inches in diameter. In order to be more efficient in what we do, at every workstation, we have trailers backed up to our roll-up doors. So all the materials, all the equipment that they need is at their workstation. They don't have to go far to get what they need to complete their task. All the stations are monitors and laptops or tablets. So everything is paperless in what we do here. Here we have tradesmen working inside the facility putting together copper assemblies. I could go over there and tell you what job it was for, but we're not gonna bother them while they're producing this high quality product. Huge advantage is they're working at a very workable height. They have all the tools and equipment they need at their ready disposal. They're in a conditioned environment. It doesn't matter whether it rains or snows, sleet or dark, uh, they've got everything they need. This saw will cut copper, it cuts PVC, and it'll cut cast iron. We've got two of them on the shop floor. The work orders are loaded up into this saw, and the saw automatically feeds. What it does is it does a linear calculation of the 20-foot sticks, and it maximizes the efficiency of every cut. So you can load up all the half-inch copper you're going to cut for a job site, stack it, and it'll automatically figure out what cuts it should make, and it prints out a label with every cut it makes. Here we have our Shapiro and Duncan Welding School, the S&D Welding School. It's actually our arts and crafts department. These talented individuals in here can just about make anything for you out of metal. They make all our supports, all our stands, uh, all our frames. Right now, I think they're making platforms. We're building a huge mechanical plant that's gonna go in a hospital, and it's all being built on skids, and it'll be a multi-trade prefab that'll happen right here. But I think they're building the platforms, which are gonna be the start of these assemblies. So people think of us as mechanical contractors, which we are, but a large part of mechanical construction is creating the supports, creating the platforms, creating all the different pieces that have to hold up the big pipe and the, and the big equipment. Here they're putting together platforms for a large hospital project we're doing. Assemblies will be put on top of them and they'll be shipped out to a job site. And this is gonna be a modular package that all goes together in the end as a completed mechanical room. 
Welcome to S&D University. This is our trades people getting trained and learning new skills or honing up skills they may already have, management education, uh, continuing education, and other classes that we offer for administrative, project managers, estimators, engineers, etc. And we've devoted this corner of our fabrication facility and put in a full-time instructor who leads classes of five to 10 tradespeople on a weekly basis. We call them mini boot camps, where they'll come in here for about five days and work on skills and leave better prepared to execute out in the field. So as part of our university, our team created this outdoor education venue, basically putting two seat containers together which gives you a two-story structure. Our apprentices, our journeymen, our tradespeople, and working on multiple floors, on the penetrations between the floors, on hanging piping, hanging ductwork, hanging control wiring overhead, hanging equipment from above, whether it's a fan coil, whether it's a unit ventilator, they can get that experience right here, this outdoor training facility. Here we are on the steel side of our fabrication facility. Through these doors, raw material comes in, whether it's pipe, whether it's valves, whether it's fittings, and it goes into our quality control group behind me. We've got two people full time that sort through all the parts and pieces that come through the door. They make sure they verify we got what we ordered, that what we ordered was right for the project, and then they sort it by workstation in bins, and then they distribute it on the floor so that when the work order goes down, each individual tradesman at their station doesn't have to go looking for the parts and pieces they're going to need to complete their part of the assembly. So behind me we have our steel line, which is started out by our Vernon plasma cutting machine. This machine will cut steel pipe 2 inches to 36 inches in diameter. It'll cut, it'll bevel for welding. It'll also cut eyelets, fish eyes, it'll cut any shape that we can draw in CAD on a pipe, it'll cut in the pipe. This machine will cut a 12 inch piece of pipe and bevel it ready for weld in about 15 seconds. A task like that in the field would take 15 to 20 minutes to complete. So it's a huge time saver, gives a far better product. So even the parts and pieces that we get directly from the factory need a little prep time before they go on to the welding stations. Behind me they're working on some 90 degree elbows, some big steel elbows, and some flanges of mechanical fitting. Those need to be prepped, they need to be ground on their edges so that we get a nice clean weld when it moves over to the welding station. This is one of our four turning stations where our welding takes place. This is where fittings, fittings and elbows, etc., will be joined to pipe, pipe will be joined to pipe. First it's fitted up, and then it's welded. The speed of the turn of the pipe is controlled by the foot pedals here. The welder can control the turner with a foot pedal while with his hands he's welding the pipe. This is a robotic welder. This is an automatic welder that puts down a perfect bead on a joint. At this station they can weld manually, they can tack manually, but at the same time the finished weld is almost always done with the robotic welder. So throughout the shop on both sides, we've got overhead gantry cranes installed. We've got three ton cranes, which go down the assembly line, and then we have a six ton overhead crane here, where we put together final assemblies. This is where our big modular components come together, and we are putting together bigger, heavier pieces. Here we're preparing to put together some modular assemblies for a large mechanical plant, and then it'll be prepared to be put on a trailer and hauled out to the job site where it'll be craned and set in place. So here we have several mock-ups that we've done. We're about to start a large project where there's gonna be a lot of repetition. These mock-ups we've done to finalize how the installation will go and to figure out everything here that'll happen in the field. We also do mock-ups for owners. This looks like a, a pneumatic station for this project, so how that's gonna to go together, how it's gonna look in the wall, how the coordination's gonna be, it's all been figured out ahead of time before it gets out to the field. So there are a lot of consumables that are used out on the fab shop floor, and 
individuals for their workstation, anything they need, they have to come to this vending machine, punch in their employee ID, and then select the item they need. This keeps track of what's used on the floor and what's used by who. So if John or Louise leaves her safety vest in her car every morning and gets a new one every day, shop manager knows, and that sort of waste stuff. Yeah, it's been very effective, very efficient, and we thank Ferguson for providing us with this beautiful vending machine. Out in the yard here, we've got a whole project's underground piping, PVC, sanitary and storm piping, ready to be installed. And they're out on the job site right now. They're still digging the hole. All this pipe is ready to be shipped and installed. All the work that's happened in the fab shop will reduce the install time from several months down to just a few weeks. That's the kind of efficiency that prefabrication brings you. So here we are at the end of our fabrication cycle where the finished product's gonna go out the door. Behind me, you'll see a lot of parts and pieces, a lot of tools, ladders, and equipment they'll need to successfully install them in the field. Tack that like button, share this with your friends, subscribe, and give us a call and come out and see us.